Welcome back to Swiss Home Garden Chitra here. In this video, we will be making red currant syrup. I've already shared a couple of recipes in this channel with red currants. One is a jam and recently I shared a jelly recipe. I will leave the link below in the description box. If you are wanting a printable version of the recipe, please also visit my blog at swisshomegarden.com. This is a syrup and it's quite different to the way we make a jam or a jelly. Syrups are very popular here in Europe. We make syrups with a lot of berries and even with elderberry flowers. For making this red currant syrup, you will need to remove the berries from the stalks. Unlike the previous recipe, we did it all together with the stalks. I had about 560 grams of the berries. You can maybe round it off to 500 grams. Wash it thoroughly. Cook it with 200 milliliter of water. Cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes till it becomes soft and mushy. Don't overcook this and then you strain it using a thin sieve. If you don't have a thin sieve, you can also strain it using a thin muslin cloth. Don't mash the berries when you're straining it. And then the juice should be collected. Add sugar. I added about 180 grams of sugar. I cooked it for about one to two minutes and then poured it into hot sterilized glass jars. So it's as simple as that. Because I wanted to have a vibrant color, I also added the juice of half a lemon. So you can see this has a really beautiful color. Let's begin with the recipe. The easiest way to remove the berries from the stalk with the minimum of effort is to use a fork and push it in towards the berries and directly into the water. Remove all the berries from the stalks and remove out any of the stray leaves. Wash it a couple of times thoroughly. In this bowl, I have 560 grams of the berries. To that, I am adding about 150 milliliter of water and then cooking it shortly till the berries become soft and mushy. I am mashing it just a little bit to let the, out the juice. Pass it through a fine sieve and then let it drain for about 2 to 3 hours. After draining out, I have exactly 500 milliliter of the juice. Add the juice of half a lemon and then cook it together with the sugar. I am actually straining it a couple of times just to make sure that I have a very clear liquid. Add the sugar and cook it for about 2 to 3 minutes and then pour into sterilized glass bottles. I've added about 180 grams of sugar. The pulp that you collect from the juice can be frozen and used for some other jam preparation. For example, you can use it to make strawberry jam which is very low in pectin. Red currants are having a very high pectin content. Keep the sterilized glass bottle on a wooden board before pouring in the hot liquid. Close it tightly and seal it. You do not have to refrigerate the syrup because it has enough sugar content but once you open the syrup you will have to refrigerate it. Since this is a thick concentrate for using the syrup add a few tablespoons of the syrup and dilute it with water. You can also add the syrup to your sodas.
If you're new to my channel, kindly subscribe. I post one new video every week on food from scratch, Swiss country living, gardening and natural recipes. Until next time, bye-bye.